Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing in the Harry Potter themed House Cup. Today we've got groups 11 and 12 with Hufflepuff holding a two point lead over Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. Don't forget, competitors are driving in groups of four, rotate each position over four laps. The top two will advance, earning four points for first, three for second, two for third, one for fourth, and the charity receiving the donations will be determined by the color of the tournament champion's car. In Group 11, driving for Irons Diecast Racing and points leading House Hufflepuff, Cody Irons is in a Range Rover Velar. Driving Zippy, a blue Jaguar XCSV Project 8 for Arlo Racing, Crystal ZD is representing Ravenclaw. From secondhand speed for House Slytherin, Draco Malfoy himself is in a Jaguar XJS. And in the red Jaguar XESV Project 8 for House Gryffindor, Rage is from Road Rage Racing. Cody and Crystal start up front, Draco and Rage in the back. Cody and Crystal get in front and Crystal spins! Draco makes the pass for second as they all chase Cody. Oh no! Cody is wrecked and whoa! Somehow Crystal narrowly avoids a nasty collision. Crystal's spin should have handed Cody the win. I'm guessing he was unable to handle the final turn at high speed. Draco quietly slithers to a win from the back row. Draco will look to continue his success from the pole on lap two. Cody and Crystal again take the early lead. Crystal and Draco stay hot on Cody's heels as they barrel through the triangle. Lap two goes to Cody Irons. Cody and Crystal seem to be the fastest pair and convert that great start into a one-two finish. Crystal ties it up with Draco and the group is only separated by three after two. Rage moves up front for the first time today. I'm sure he's hoping to make up some ground quick. Cody pushes Draco down the track and Draco's off the track! Crystal forces her way past Rage on the overpass and Cody is rolled in the final turn! Crystal ricochets off Cody and claims the win on lap 3. Draco has somehow gotten stuck behind the Dursley house. Draco unable to handle the boost from Cody, I think he actually spun himself out. Crystal jumps out to a four point lead, the rest of the group will battle for second place on the last lap. All Crystal's gotta do is finish the lap to win the group. A shove from Cody's Range Rover and Crystal jumps out front. The group stays locked together headed to the triangle. Cody gets loose and Rage passes at the last second. Cody's definitely got the speed, but stability seems to be an issue for him. Crystal ZD takes the win, and with that second place finish, Rage claims the second spot. On to group 12. Representing Hufflepuff, Ladyface is in a Lotus Europa special called Huff and Puff for Golden Owl Racing. From KCLH Racing, Alex is driving a Love C TX Taxi for House Slytherin. Another member of Team Dementors, Flat Rabbiter Cross, is driving a Bentley Continental GT3 for Ravenclaw. Finally, Eddie is driving for Gryffindor in an Aston Martin DB5 from 50 Tree Racing. Ladyface and Alex start in front, Cross and Eddie in the back. Ladyface and Cross get in front, and Cross gets sideways. Alex gets alongside Cross, but Cross puts on the block. Ladyface with a decent lead, she'll take lap one just ahead of Cross. Alex takes third, and Eddie appears to be stuck on the wall in the triangle. Cross gets squirrely and almost gives up his position, but manages to hang on. Huff and Puff on top after one. The points leaders on the front row for lap two. Cross gets in front this time, Ladyface behind. Ladyface gives him the shake and bake and passes in turn three. Eddie drives off the overpass and crosses right on top of Ladyface. And that'll be back-to-back -back wins for Team Yellow. 
Alex has also come off the track behind Hagrid's hut. That was a pro move by Ladyface to claim another lap for Hufflepuff. Ladyface and Cross running away with this one due to some early DNFs by Alex and Eddie. Eddie sorely needs a win and he'll get his chance from the pole on lap 3. He can't keep up with Cross and Ladyface. Ladyface tries the same move on Cross again, but gets stuffed. Eddie takes advantage and moves around Ladyface, nearly passing Cross as well. Cross, driving in reverse, just holds on for the win. Eddie is second, Ladyface third, and Alex takes fourth. If there was an award for aggressive driving, Ladyface would have earned it a couple times now. And this one's all wrapped up. Ladyface and Cross clinch round two with 10 points, a seven point lead, and only one lap remaining. The now eliminated cars of Alex and Eddie will battle it out to earn the single house point for third. Eddie with a boost from Cross gets the advantage. Eddie spins down the overpass but doesn't lose much ground. Alex nearly pulls off a late pass but gets loose on the final straight. Eddie wins lap 4, taking home that point for Gryffindor. No new adds to the wildcard list this time. Those 10 points by V-Man are looking pretty solid. Ravenclaw wins both groups today, putting up a big 6 spot. And the Bluebirds leap over Hufflepuff to regain the lead. Congratulations to Crystal, Rage, Cross, and Ladyface. This has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and groups 13 and 14 of the House Cup.